A new president has taken office in Taiwan. Tsai Ing-wen's political party supports formal independence from China. But after a swearing-in ceremony at the presidential building in Taipei, she chose her words carefully. Tsai is the first woman to serve as president of Taiwan. A new president has taken office in Taiwan. Tsai Ing-wen's political party supports formal independence from China. But after a swearing-in ceremony at the presidential building in Taipei, she chose her words carefully. Tsai is the first woman to serve as president of Taiwan. Another wave of heavy rain added to the misery in Sri Lanka today. Flooding in the capital, Colombo, has displaced more than 185,000 people. Today, trucks plowed through the water to ferry out evacuees. Helicopters were sent in to rescue others from their rooftops. The rain also triggered mudslides this week, and hundreds of people are still missing. Another wave of heavy rain added to the misery in Sri Lanka today. Flooding in the capital, Colombo, has displaced more than 185,000 people. Today, trucks plowed through the water to ferry out evacuees. Helicopters were sent in to rescue others from their rooftops. The rain also triggered mudslides this week, and hundreds of people are still missing. India has set a record for its hottest temperature ever, nearly 124 degrees Fahrenheit. It happened today in the western city of Fulodi, as authorities issued a severe heat alert for several states and called in emergency water supplies. India's heat is always worse in April, May and June before monsoon rains bring relief. Hundreds of people have died this week and thousands of farmers have lost their crops. India has set a record for its hottest temperature ever, nearly 124 degrees Fahrenheit. It happened today in the western city of Fulodi, as authorities issued a severe heat alert for several states and called in emergency water supplies. India's heat is always worse in April, May and June before monsoon rains bring relief. Hundreds of people have died this week and thousands of farmers have lost their crops.